Mike Bush with TechCrunch. And I'm Alex, also with TechCrunch. And uh, we're going to do now a startup showcase from the startup alley here at TechCrunch Shop San Francisco. This is consisting of a cross section of some of the, some of the interesting companies that, that, that are displaying here. There's so many companies here that we can't possibly put everyone onto the battlefield. There's some plenty of really great ones in Startup Alley. So this is a real great opportunity to see who is out there in a more organized fashion rather than just watch, watching me run around crazy. Although I never get tired of walking, watching you just kind of bounce around with one stick in my way and what's up? Yes, I know. It's, <laughs> it does put, tend to put people on pressure. It does. Okay, well we're going to kick off first of all with a company called Eagle, pronounced uh, with an A-E, uh, which is a smart, smart placemat. Yes. So, so let's hear from them. Shall we? Look to see your dietary trends for your calorie intake, nutritional intake, and weight for the past week, month, or even year. Then, based on these trends, the app will be able to recommend different recipes, restaurants, and certain foods tailored to you. If you have diabetes, hypertension, or most other health conditions, then the Eagle palette can customize recommendations for you. Live a happy and healthy lifestyle and let the Eagle palette show you the way. Okay. Eagle Pilot does for diet, while Fitbit does for exercise and activities. It's a smart placemat sitting right on a dining table, Bluetooth connected with a smartphone. In real time, it measures caloric and nutrients intake and it builds a profile after each meal. You can see your own nutritional trends over time. Based on the trends, it recommends different food, uh, recipes, and restaurants are catered to you. So it's personalizable intelligent. Eagle Pilot is patent, patent pending and its core contents were developed by professors at Harvard. Counting and measuring cups are unrealistic, unreliable. Consumers do not have many options when it comes to measuring diet that are easy and reliable. Based on data, there are 29 million diabetic patients in the US, two-thirds of the population, and one-third of the children are obese and overweight. Eagle Pilot empowers consumers to take control of your diet and it enables physicians and hospitals to measure patients' diet on a real-time basis. Eagle Pilot, with Eagle Pilot, you can become the artist of your health. Okay. Thank you very much. What do you All think? Right, so here's the thing. I would actually use this because I'm terrible at track of my own calories, mm. and I'm never going to sit down there with my fitness pal and clock it in myself. But if this is as accurate as they claim that it is, you know, I can see it. Yeah, I think the other thing is that people are generally, you know, naturally a little bit lazy, and they, they can't go through the, they don't really feel like um, uh, having to sort of note everything down oh, in no. massive detail. No, no, no. Uh, so if this, uh, if this if it does what it's, they claim to say it does, then that would just make the whole thing a lot easier. Yeah, um, and then if it'll plug into the apps you already use, maybe Apple Health, for example, yeah. you can have one locus point for all of your data. Uh, actually, I met those guys earlier uh, over at their table, and their products are quite nice. Yeah. So it's not a, even an unattractive product, it's actually pretty. Yeah. So that probably makes it a little easier to put around the table or the house. Not making it seamless for the consumer, I think. Right, yeah. next up, um, without a video, but with a pitch, is Norm Affair, which is going to be sort of food brands to Instagram inst influencers. So okay. let's hear from Norm Affair. Hi, my name is Sylvia, and I'm the co-founder of Norm Affair an online marketplace that connects food brands to Instagrammers. So as a food brand, if you have a new food product that you wish to promote to the world, we can help you find the right person to do that. Normafair connects you with a list of Instagrammers who will try your product and post their experience over Instagram with their followers. So you can imagine, with just one single photo being posted, the number of people who will see the product and the kind of brand exposure that you can get. So what's in it for the Instagrammers to help you? With our marketplace, Instagrammers can now be rewarded for their social influence. And as a food brand, we are here to disrupt the digital advertising space so that you can create your marketing campaign easily and quickly, all at an affordable cost. So what are you waiting for? Get out, be heard, and be craved by all foodies around the world. Thank you. Thanks very much, Norma Fair. I, now, love, I love the name. The name's fantastic. It's a good name, isn't it? All right, so are you an Instagram user? Sorry? Do you use Instagram? Um, yes, occasionally, although I have decided to avoid taking pictures of food, to be perfectly <laughs> honest. Um, I would say, though, that, um, uh, yeah, I mean, Instagram being used for us by so many foodies that 
it kind of makes itself and lends itself as a natural marketplace, doesn't it, to influencers? I think that's totally correct. And also, I think people forget how big Instagram is. It has like 400 million monthly active users. Yeah. So the market there is actually staggering. And I've seen a lot of celebrities get way more engagement on Instagram, actually, than Twitter. And so perhaps this is a better place for them to be doing this sort of promotional, advertising-based food selfies. Yeah. I, I don't know what you would call it. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's very much amount. Um, people who um, are into their food, Instagram is very sort of known for, and the tagging as well is so important as well. True, true. Whole thing. Do you think Twitter um, will always be smaller than Instagram? Do you know what, it's such, I mean, we could talk about whether or not Twitter is, has a future <laughs> at all, all afternoon. However, we must move on, so thank you very much, Norma Fair. Let's move on now to number three, Pet Rumi, which is a pet sitter network. Over to Pet Rumi. I'm Monique, CEO of Pet Rumi. Pet Room is an online community that connects pet parents with pet sitters willing to take care of their dogs and cats as family members at their own house at, for affordable price. We reached 20 states in Brazil, the second largest pet market in the world, and we keep growing and getting more and more traction. So if you want to know more, contact us and join us. Uh, our main value, the main value that we generate uh, for our customer in Petriomi is that we, there are three. One is a caring environment for the pet, a convenient and affordable boarding service for the pet owner, like four times cheaper than a traditional pet hotel, and an extra income for the pet sitter doing what they love at their home and comfort. And our revenue model is a service fee of 15% of every th transaction. And we so far have validated our business model with 3,000 users to check like safety, traceability, and all the things that could happen offline with, between the pets, pet sitters and owners to guarantee a really great experience. And we got 100% of satisfaction until now. So now we are starting our seed round to get more traction and then gain a whole Brazil, more that we have, or about the 20 states we have, and then go global. So if you want more, more see petroomy.com.br. Thank you. Right, thank you very much, Pet Rumi. Well, uh, it's just like Airbnb for pets, is it? Yeah, basically. I mean, yeah. I like I like it though. It's more personal, it's more convenient, and yeah. maybe the pets will actually be happier. Yes, and it has that sort of. Uh, yeah, it's a share economy uh, yeah. business model, which people are so enamored of. And people spend so much money on their household pets. They go daft over those oh, things. Crazy. And so I think if you can find a service to offer that large market, you can make a lot of money. You could, you could. And it's a, it's a little bit like having, you're not going to let rent your uh, spare room out because you want to live there and you don't like Airbnb. Hey, you take someone's pet in and off you go. You make There's also a WAG, which is dog walking in SF that just raised a bunch of money. So it's kind mm. of a hot space right now. Yeah, it could. It definitely has, has uh, a tail to wag. Right, oh, mo geez. moving on. <laughs> <laughs> we have now a company called Quick Legal, which is an on-demand legal service, uh, on-demand legal advice. So let's hear from them. In lives, finding not only the time, but the money to hire legal professionals can be quite the challenge. And in most situations, Time is of the essence. Sometimes you just need to talk to a lawyer right now and get the answers you need immediately. Well, now you can. Introducing Quick Legal. Whether it's for personal matters or business, we have you covered. For only $49, you can instantly video chat with an attorney. Or for just $29, you can instantly message an attorney. So, what are you waiting for? Hello, my name is Derek Bluford. I'm the founder of Quick Legal. Quick Legal is the first and only app that allows you to instantly video chat, voice call, or submit your legal questions to licensed and vetted attorneys anywhere in the nation. You simply select whether you will choose the voice call or video chat or select a message location category, and then you can select an attorney based off user reviews or his or her bio. You submit background information as to why you need to talk to them, and then within about 10 to 15 seconds, you are instantly connected. Um, so far, we have uh, had a couple thousand users since January when we launched. 
We have a little over 500 attorneys who pay us $499 a month to be part of our platform. And we recently just partnered with LegalZoom, which is the world's le leading legal service company. Um, we're currently raising $2 million, and with those funds, we plan to expand services throughout the nation. Thank you. Thanks, Quick Legal. Well, I mean, this makes quite a lot of sense, actually, to me. Because many uh, legal issues are so complex. Just being able to sit and talk with a lawyer is you know, quite a big part of so many legal services, isn't it? And if, this does this instantaneously, then that's that's quite cool. It's very cool. Also, I like that they got lawyers to pay them. Right. That's not usually the way that it goes. So yes. it's kind of a fun turnaround of the things. But I'm curious, you know, what if you're a high-powered lawyer, you can charge ten thousand dollars an hour, whatever it is. Yeah. So what lawyers are going to actually join the platform? I'm curious about the quality of the supply. Well, um, they they claim they've vetted. They have a vetted service there, so. There's going to be some, um, it is obviously, let's face it, a lot of the uh, legal issues that are going to be discussed on a platform like this aren't going to be high, you know, you know, talking very, very complex. They're might going to be more like, uh, you know, parking fines and, you know, stuff like that. Do you think the average user would be a consumer with a small problem or more like a small business? I think a lot of small businesses might be interested in this, actually. Because yeah. um, they want more on demand. Uh, they don't want to necessarily have someone, you know, on, on tap all the time. On just, retainer you know, or whatever yeah, it is. Yeah, on retainer, yeah. yeah. Right, okay, and now we're moving on to our final startup from the Startup Alley Showcase today on the second day of TechCrunch Disrupt. San Francisco is a Tri Mirror, a 3D fitting room. Let's see if you know. I bet you've all had the fitting room blues, and we at Tri Mirror decided to fix the problem. We start by modeling garments into 3D using their actual CAD pattern designs and physical properties. And when you customize a highly accurate avatar of yourself using your measurements, you can then try on clothes in real time to see where they're tight or loose using tension maps and how they behave when you move around. You can already use it online, in stores on a magic mirror, on mobile devices, and to design your own 3D collections. Hi guys, uh, my name is Jenny Charney. I'm a co-founder of Trimere. As you just saw, we have a 3D real-time virtual fitting room. Uh, I'm sure you've seen virtual fitting rooms before. It's like comparing a rotary dial phone to a smartphone, completely different. We start with a CAD pattern design with all of its unique measurements, no size charts, and apply the physical properties to the garment as well. And then we render it in real time with animation. Uh, and as a user, you create your avatar with your unique measurements. You can even put your face on your avatar. Uh, and then you can try on clothes and see where they're tight or loose and how they behave when you move around, dancing, sitting, walking. Uh, and you can do this on mobile devices, you can do it on a big screen in a store with gesture control, and you can do it online. We stream it in real time to your browser. And we have multinational fashion brand clients who are licensing all of these platforms. They're also licensing our 3D CAD designer to actually design clothes into 3D directly, and that way they can streamline their whole supply chain from design to production to the consumer platforms. Uh, we actually just had an event with Microsoft uh, Guess and Gap in a mall, and all the shoppers loved it from kids to seniors for different reasons. But really, women get really passionate about it, you know, because they have an emotional connection to clothes and shopping, and they see how accurate and animated and beautiful it is, so they really have a lot of fun with it. Uh, so, you know, we're looking to scale. We have so much demand now for 3D visualization that we can't keep up. Uh, so we're looking for collaboration, and thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks very much, Trimira. Well, goodness me, that's quite something. I was uh, quite taken aback by that video. I was uncomfortable through parts of it. I'm like, can we actually put that on the screen? Is that okay for tech rights? There's we have rules about this sort of thing. <laughs> but, uh, um, but anyway, there have been loads of 3D for, uh, fitting room startups in the, in the past. Um, it did look, it, it did look like very um, naturalistic to some extent, actually. It did. I'm pretty fussy about shirts, yeah. so I would probably use that because I hate it when you buy a dress shirt, you take it home, put it on, and it fits kind of bulkily, not the way you want. Yeah. And so if you can actually find a way to, to make that a lot easier, I'd use it. But your weight goes up and down, so do you have to update your avatar every month or week? I'm yeah. curious about inputs, I guess. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the thing that held back so many uh, fitting room apps was uh, that getting the measurements correct, and yes. uh, so if they've if they've managed to crack that, then there's there might have been a some decent amount of potential there. Still, though, I love the diversity of the companies we just saw. There was nothing that was the same. Very, very different uh, areas and business models and so forth. Strong group this year. Absolutely, I and mean, it just goes to show uh, the amount of amazing companies there are at uh, Disrupt this year. Um, the places surrounded by them, we have uh, broken all records this year. I gather on Startup Alley. 
Well, from me, Mike Butcher. And from me, Alex. Uh, it's, that's our Startup Alley showcase for today. TechCrush Disrupt Day 2. See you later.